Well, hello and welcome to another eBuddy tutorial. We are going to be going through the girl orders and closeout process, uh, jumping in then to rewards and then being able to take a look at our sales report so that we can close out our cookie season. Uh, one of the first things that we want to do is make sure that all of our girls are indeed um, in the system because we may have had a few girls come in throughout the boothing time that sold um, out of booth sales. So we're going to head first to the girls tab just to add anybody that maybe isn't there already. So we are going to call this one um, girly girl-ish. Four as our last name. I'm going to give it a temp ID. So that's exactly how you add anybody. And uh, you can't mark whether or not they're registered or anything. But if you did want to give them a shirt size, you could do that here as well. But now I'm going to make sure I click update. Um, oh, sorry. You got to add a grade. And we'll say that they're all right in that range. We'll say update now. And that temp ID just means that we don't know where they came from and we don't know their temp, their real ID, but that's okay. We're just going to get them in the system. That's what's most important right now. And we'll check and make sure that they're registered after the fact. Um, so jump to the girl orders. Now we see that we have our girl one, two, three, and our girly girlish four in that order. So, uh, what we're going to do is jump in on one of them and make sure that we've closed out as much as we can. So we had our initial order where um, our girl one sold 78 boxes and then she had a DOC deliver and donate where four boxes were donated but none of the other boxes showed up and again uh, the DOC deliver where we can look at it very clearly and see that nothing was added at all. So I know that right now, if I do 75 boxes, or $75 divided by $5, I'm gonna get the box number that I need to actually give to that girl. But I actually need to know those varieties as well. So most of you either did this during the initial order um, or have learned how to do this throughout the season. But if you're still looking at it and you're trying to close out and you can't figure out why missing boxes are there, we're gonna quickly take you through that. So what we would do is go to the report section and we would do the DOC orders by girl and we're going to filter it and we would do the delivered and donated and delivered. So not so much the donated needs to be there, but we do need to see all of the ones that say delivered. That means that a girl um, actually did it um, where she was going to deliver in hand. Same with in hand and mobile. We just want to make sure we have all that and then we would do it in either packages or cases. I think it's easier to read in packages and we'd hit this little XLSX, the report will come. We pull it up, and when we pull up our report, it looks something like this. So I have a couple of orders. I have a delivered and donated and delivered, and that's exactly what we saw when we were on the girl order tab. Is we had two boxes or two orders for girly, for girl, girl one, and now. I just need to know what those boxes actually were. So I see that I had eight packages, but I know that four of them were donated. Those have already been added. And then another four were in the order, so that should equal our $40. So that makes sense. So we had $40 paid, but we only had four of those boxes actually showing up. So I know I need to add a transaction for those. And then I also saw that somebody else placed an order for 15 for $75. And if I see right underneath there, there's my $75 that came in, but now I need to order um, another 15. I can do this all in one transaction. And what I would say is DOC filled orders, because I actually had to hand the girl the 19 boxes. So I'm going to put in 19 boxes. I don't need to worry about the money because it's already been paid for. So when I hand the girl the 19 boxes, I know that they've already been paid for and I'm gonna say, okay. And I don't have to worry about it. Uh, and then I'm just gonna simply save because I am filling those orders right there. And then I'm simply gonna do that for my next group of girls. 
So girl two, if we look on here, I see that she had one order for $45 for nine boxes, and I should have already given her those boxes. But here's that order. Once again, it's all zeros, but I see $45, so I'm going to add a transaction. So DOC filled orders, just so that I can remember what it is. And I'm going to say, oh, nine boxes. I should say okay and then that creates $45 owed $45 paid and that is perfect just like that and we're gonna do one more just for good measure so we have our girly girl three and what we see on here is that there were two orders for delivered and it was 25 and 25 so that's another 10 boxes so what we want to do is make sure that those orders we also see that some were shipped but those were already taken care of we don't have to worry about anything shipped because that boxes were already added $35 were due $35 were paid so that's a zero balance so I'm going to add that transaction and so DOC orders filled however you want to put it so that you know what it is it can say anything DOC um, payments DOC whatever or not payments but DOC orders DOC boxes whatever makes sense to you so that you know there it is okay I don't have to worry about payments so there's the $50 25 plus 25 is the 50 and saved so that closes out my DOC orders and make sure that you've actually handed the girl those 10 boxes if it came in before the initial order hopefully they were already added but if not you can fill those boxes now but you need to fill those boxes with actual boxes handed out to the girls so that they can go and fill everything and because we just and added girly girlish four we know that um, she hasn't had any sales come in at all so the next thing we want to do is actually do some of our boothing so I want to make sure we did quite a bit of boothing uh, 359 boxes worth or somewhere right around there hopefully and so I'm gonna record those booth sales and I had two booth sales so I'm gonna mark in there now one of the secrets is, is you can go through and put in what each of these was and try to do it that way um, if you want you could add in each one of the varieties the other secret is to know what your total number of boxes was, were and once you know what your total boxes of sales were you can just put it into any one of these and because they're all the same price they're all being five dollars per box it really won't confuse anything so if I know I did a hundred and let's just say 76 boxes at this booth sale and I collected all the money so I don't have to worry about that but I only had three girls participate so I had this girl this girl and this girl and then I'm gonna say distribute and it automatically adds those and so one girl got a little bit less but I can go and make corrections if I need to because of the way it divided out and I'm gonna submit that sale so once I've submitted that sale I've got all those numbers and I can go back to my girl orders and instead of going and clicking on each girl I can see that booths were divided equally or as equal as possible to these girls and so as you can see all of those were at I still have 183 boxes left I had one other booth and that's where our girly girl four participated so I've already filled that one out so now it's locked and I can come in here and I know that we did about 117 boxes once again you can do it by each variety in each one and that's okay um, but really you're gonna do much better if you're just adding the total amount sold and then getting it divided uh, then I'm going to distribute those boxes and if for any reason I realize oh whoops actually this was um, 50 boxes and nine of them were gift of caring so I could put in nine boxes for our gift of caring that needs to be put on there and then I would submit the sale uh, apparently my math is a little bit poor here Okay, 
doesn't like whatever I am doing here. Well, let's just try that again because it apparently does not work very well. So we will, um, oh, it's not letting me change it because I'd have to change it up here. So if I wanted that, I do need to bring that down to, there we go. Now it'll let me do it. And I want all the boxes on this girl because she was the one that did them. And then we can do it. That's why. So do make sure that those numbers, if any of them are going to gift of caring or something else, then we need to know that. So jumping back to the girl orders, now our girly girlish has some orders placed um, from the booth sales that she did. I see that she had two of them for 59 boxes each. And now I still have 66 more boxes. Well, in case you forgot to do your goal getters, this is the time to do it. So if I know that I had the last little bit, I can add a goal getter, add transaction, because I know that my girl won had done goal getter so I can either write that in there goal getter and I can say she got to 32 and I'm gonna say that they actually did just pay all of that so $160 I collected that money up front right there for those and I'm gonna say save once again I've got I've got a couple of more girls at 34 more boxes so girl 2 also did the um, did it so goal getter and we had well, we'll just say that she also did whoops make sure it's in the right column also did 32 boxes and we'll say that she paid right away and save okay now we're gonna look at the numbers and see where we're at so we are with this girl at 191 next girl is at 205 girly girl three is at 256 and girly girlish at um at, at 118 but i still have two boxes um left now maybe they weren't sold maybe they didn't get added somewhere whatever it is if you have boxes left over at the end and it won't bump anybody up to the next reward you don't really have to worry about it. But if you have two boxes left and you didn't sell them and it will bump the next person up to the next reward, definitely make sure you're getting that number to zero. I highly recommend having that number at zero just to make sure, but it's not 100% necessary. But I highly recommend it just to make sure. Once again, um, I can put those on to any one of these girls for whatever reason, whether or not I think my troop's gonna do it, I can add them up. But what if I do have a girl that's at 191 and nine more boxes is gonna make a huge difference? Well, because I had this nine that got added to Gift of Caring, what I might wanna do is actually place an order for those boxes. So maybe I've already used them, but I only have a couple of boxes to fill it. I might actually need to put in a transaction before I close out, whether that's for your gift of caring, whether it's to get a girl up to a goal, I may need just a few more boxes. So I am gonna go ahead and do that. I have a couple of girls that are really, really close to doing a few things. So I'm just gonna get a few Thin Mints. Um, whoops, we just want one case of Thin Mints and one case of Samoas. And we're gonna sell those over the next week um, to whatever it might be. Uh, and I always highly recommend using the save and print. It'll open up the print. You don't have to print it, but it does save it automatically on this page. So once I go back to my girl orders page, I have 26 boxes more that I can distribute. And so I want to bump this girl up a reward. So I'm just going to add a transaction. So I'm just going to call this a bump for rewards. Now, if you don't want to bump a girl, you have no reason or obligation to bump a girl up. But if you know it's your daughter and you want her to sell a couple more boxes to get up to that point, it might be worth it. I'm just going to put it in the other column. I know that she needs nine more boxes. I'm just going to leave it blank right now because I know that these aren't paid for yet. So I just want to leave it the way it is. And I'm going to say save. And I'm going to go to my next girl that I think might benefit from having a few more 
um, boxes right here if they can get up to the 125 mark. I'm going to go ahead and do another transaction. I'm going to call this a bump. And we need her for at least seven more boxes. But I'm really kind of done. So I really just want to add 12 boxes on there just to be kind of done. Nobody else really needs anything to be bumped up. And maybe I'll look at it. Once again, I have five more boxes. None of the girls can really benefit. So I can either leave it at that five boxes left, or I can just say, you know what? I'm going to bump this one up to five boxes, add it to 14, and I'm going to click Save. Oh, I added one too many. Apparently 13 should be the, the magic number here. Okay, so finally, my numbers, well, apparently it just didn't like my number that I added in there. Um, that should be zero. Let's try it one more time just to see if we can get it. 14. Okay. Save. And it updated that time. Now we're at zero. Now we have the side of the money, right? Now it's showing that we have 3980 and 2030 collected with a balance of about $2,000. Here's the thing. I don't need these numbers at all. But for me to be able to go in and look at it and see what's happening in your eBuddy account and for your girls, it is very helpful for me to see what actually is outstanding, especially if there are any issues with a parent turning in money. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get this as close as I can to get to get it to uh, zero or closed out, especially if it's true. If you are putting these numbers in, just to say I'm gonna add a payment for, it should hopefully only be in uh, um, initial order because that's the only thing I have a zero in for because otherwise this filled the DOC, this was paid for because of the booth sales, and this one was paid for because I collected goal getters up front, plus the 70, I guess that's the only number that should be zero, especially if I know they're not sold yet. So I may, I can put the 390 there just to cover it, or I can actually use whatever number they actually turned in. So I'm going to say they turned in everything but $5 worth on their initial order. Um, your initial order might have been caught up with some of these DOC cookies. So you may have them turning in less because they paid more here. It really depends on your exact circumstance. And once again, because I didn't have the $70 collected yet because I just bumped them up, um, we're going to worry about selling those and collecting that money here in the next week or so, hopefully before money is all due. But now I'm a lot closer to only $75 being due. And I can once again go through and add these for the next girls as well. Get them as close to accurate as possible. So once again, I got um, her goal getters were already collected. The only thing I haven't seen collected is that 530. So I'm going to add a payment. Once again, it's for the initial order. And we collected everything from this girl. She has turned in every dime that was due. And I'm going to say save. So her balance is now zero. Once again, I think this one just has the 12 boxes, the $60 worth um, that needs to be added, but because we haven't sold those yet, I don't have any reason to add them. And then for my final one, add a transact or add a payment. Might not let me. Now well, I'll just do it anyway. So this is once again for the initial order. 900 and they've been able to get me 850 hopefully they're going to collect on that here soon because i want to finish up so that was just an in out in uh, initial order payment and i say okay so i am owed that money now i look down here it still shows that i have 185 dollars that i need to collect from girls or to sell those cookie boxes but my cookie boxes are all done this number doesn't matter to counsel at all. It is only for your records. This number is what triggers all of the rewards. Certain columns like the goal getter column or the cookies from the heart also trigger rewards, but the main column that needs to be filled is the total. So however you get the girl to the correct total is the secret to finishing this out to make sure that they get all of the rewards. 
on this transactions tab is where I am going to be pulling the 792 boxes plus the four that were from the uh, cookies from the heart that is where you'd add any of those so I had four boxes that were added in there but 496 we have the 492 plus we had a digital cookie so we have a little bit more that we'd be paying for when it all comes said and done but we're using that because this is a mock troop it's not quite going to show up the next step i need to do is actually fill out my rewards almost everybody needs to actually do this and hopefully you have girls initial orders um, cards or a copy of them so that you can actually make the selections that are necessary to close this out so i know what my girls did i'm going to submit the order i have the next girl that i'm just going to go down and they wanted the s'mores keepsake box and the artist roll some of them are automatically going to be in there and some of them are going to be different so this one sold 250 so they had a next next level to make selections for and of course the one girl that came in late just has one selection but all of them at some level had a selection the ones that are really, really important to get right, right away, are these ones that are um, going to be coming from our baker, Little Brownie, because those do make a big difference. So the goal getter ones were automatically added on there as long as they got 30 plus. So they have two. Two of our girls earned that. We had one. This is our complete order. So all four girls earned their participation patch. Then all four girls got to 75 boxes. And then it kind of gets varied depending on what they chose and what they needed. The goal getter ones right there. And I, of course, I didn't have any girls that got all the way up to a thousand boxes in this troop. But then I would click submit and all of their rewards would go through so that I would have all of that. Um, this is my average is 199 boxes. The per girl average for our registered girls um was 796 because technically i only have one girl that was marked registered that was imported apparently and then i'm going to come over to the sales report my troop still owes all of their money to council so the doc ones should have already been deposited and if i wanted to make this better i would have one for every single digital order that came in would already be there and then i would have that amount deposited plus we've already done two achs with just one more this is the number that we will actually pull on the last one. Now you have until the 23rd to continue to make changes to your transactions. If you need more cookies to fill your gift of caring, you can continue to place that order. Um, if you have digital cookie sales that come in tonight, those are still going. Uh, but you do wanna make sure that you look at this number because this is where you're actually gonna have your final pull is gonna come from that. Wherever that sits on the morning of um, the 23rd that's what's going to be made now you actually have the rest of that day to make changes if you make changes just know that we might have some corrections to do for some of you that have overpaid you'll see that there's a correction a check will be coming to you or an ACH directly into your bank account if anything changes from now until then this number will change along with that your troop if you've sold everything like I know that my troop right now has about a hundred and 30 boxes or $130 worth of inventory that hasn't sold my actual troop proceeds that'll be left in my bank account will only be roughly $300 um, until I sell those boxes that's where my troop proceeds will be so I need to make sure I sell it so that I can collect all of that um, from here on out if you need to pull any other reports for the DOC they're right here any other delivery station information they're just right over here but most of everything is caught up you'd be able to see what percentage so I got 60 cents per case sold I didn't get any of the um, extra proceeds for hitting a 250 um, per girl average um, so it is just kind of what it is but all of those numbers are right here on the sales report um, and then any other things that you wanted to see for the digital cookie program are on the next one. If you want to view your rewards, you can just view them and see that they're all done. And you can print that off for your, your records. 
But that is pretty much how to close out your cookie sales with the digital cookie. For any that were left, you can fill those orders for the cookies from the heart. Um, for goal getters, we did have a special one that was in there for that. So you can watch that if you really want to see how to do goal getters or any confusing things, how to bump cookies over to get that goal getter one up to 30 if you believe they earned it. Um, that is up to you guys to make sure that that's filled out correctly. Cookies from the heart is confusing because you don't actually need um, those boxes ever. They are additional, so they're four plus whatever you ordered on. And if you did online sales, they have to be cookies from the heart when they were donated. You can't move them over to the gift of caring. Um, that is just where they go. If you are doing both because of that, sometimes it's a little confusing. Gift of caring. I should have nine boxes now left over, even though this reads zero, that I know I'm going to donate to whatever organization I've chosen. I think that basically closes us out. And if you have any questions, please call our uh, membership support team um, and we'll walk you through any of these steps. Thank you.